I'm Parvinder Kenoja. I'm a physician in Phoenix. We are working closely with Phoenix Art Museum, where we have set up a Sikh art gallery, the second one in the, in the country, where we hope to have multiple exhibits over the next few years. I've always been interested in Sikh history and art and history are intertwined together. So I was always interested along with the history into the art part and I started to collect about 10 years ago. About 10 years ago, I came across some sea coins and I was overwhelmed with it. I had never seen them. To me, they were so powerful because they represented Sikh history, part of a Sikh nation, and sovereignty. Until today, I believe most of the people have never heard about Sikh coins, and most of the Sikhs themselves have probably never seen Sikh coins. So, you know, I have, over the years, found some sources. Primarily, I, have, I collect from some of the auction houses. The major ones sought to be is Bonham's, Christie's. There is also a small one called Mulak in England. Along with this, there's a small network of collectors and sellers based in the US, England, and India. So over time, you develop these associations and you collect through them. I'm looking for something either which is unique or something I don't have, or if it is theme-based, so it can be presented and exhibited at the museum. So again, I work with some folks in England. If you recall, England was uh, involved with India and occupied it for many years. So a lot of Sikh artifacts mm -hmm. are based in England. So I worked with some of the folks over there and some collectors in the US. I have multiple favorite pieces which are dear to me, but something which sticks out. And actually at this time, because we are at Phoenix Art Museum celebrating 100 years of World War I and Sikhs in them, is a miniature Guru Granth Sahib. It is 1430 pages, one inch in thickness, 1.2 inches in length. The Britishers got them printed and the Sikh soldiers would carry them in their turbans and they would feel that the Guru and the Sikh scriptures were with them at the, during the battle and they would get strength from it. So over the last two to three years, I became of aware of some of the contemporary artists who existed. There are three of them who I've had special interest in. One is the twins from England. The second and third are Arpana Kaur and Devinder Singh and based in India. All of their works have been exhibited at international galleries and museums. And they all have a unique style of work. So over the last two to three years, I've started to collect their work and we hope to have it exhibited at Phoenix Art Museum next year. So, you know, we are, people are not aware of it, the general public, that Sikhs or Sikhism is the fifth largest religion in the world. It is primarily to increase awareness and also education of people in general, but specifically the younger generation, so they can become aware of us and partly understand our history. So I've always known that the Sikhs have fought for all faiths, not just their own. And they have also fought against overwhelming odds. At this time, at the museum, there is a painting on Battle of Saragari. It's a very unique battle where 21 Sikhs went against 10,000 Pathans at the border of in India and Afghanistan. And they held a mud fort 
for quite some time against those odds. They were all awarded one of the eight UNESCO Collective Bravery Awards for that. That was a recent painting from a Canadian painter, Jarnal Singh. But I had commissioned him for that because I was very interested in it and I became aware of it. So first of all, it can turn out to be an addiction and sort of a bad disease. <laughs> However, they should follow their passion and do it if they like something, not just as an investment. Mm. And over time, develop a network of people who have similar goals and learn from each other. The long-term goals are, I hope, over the next few years, we can donate the works and add more works for Phoenix Art Museum. Along with this, we hope we can educate the masses, but also create a traveling exhibit which can go around to different museums. So, you know, to me, it is more of an education and awareness again. And to me, art is good for the soul also and makes you more cultured and a better person. That's my opinion. So it is again becoming aware of different events and faith of and people of different parts of the world. So to me, seva means service, but it has to be unselfish and you should not expect anything in return. There are different ways to do seva and this is one way to do seva in which we can do things for the common mankind and make them more aware of, of the world and create also tolerance. So, so, you know, the relationship with Phoenix Art Museum couldn't have gone better. Me personally and from the Sikh community, I feel very gratified to have had this opportunity and to be involved with the museum.